Hey, good morning, everybody. It is uh, Monday, September 28th, two days away from the end of the month. And uh, we're going to be praying for the church to reach the lost today, no matter what it takes. See, we're gonna need, the church is going to need to be sending people into some of these harder inner cities and some of the places where the gospel's never been, um, into the places like prisons, hospitals, nursing homes. We've got to take the gospel anywhere and everywhere we possibly can. I um, also want to highlight some news today. Um, just looking at the news this morning, a uh, five-year-old girl was stabbed to death in Chicago. 48 people were shot over the weekend in Chicago, and postal workers in Chicago are threatening to stop delivering mail because some of their employees are being shot. I also saw where the, tech, the, the uh, fires in uh, California have exploded again uh, over the weekend. I also saw where, and if you know me, you know that I've got a lot of serious questions about <clears throat> COVID and the shutdowns, the lockdowns. Um, don't trust the, the numbers at all we're getting from the CDC, the federal government. And with the death rate that's, you know, 0.001 or 2 or 3 or 4 percent, um, nothing like they said was we're going to have, no, no reason for the shutdowns at all. But nonetheless, we see where some states are experiencing huge spikes and they're expecting record hospitalizations. And one, one state's already saying they are. So we're seeing some interesting things happen around the world. And, and also around the nation. Um, watching earthquakes quite, quite uh, specifically at the moment. Uh, watching what's happening in Australia, Australia with the shutdowns, the lockdowns. Um, an extreme overbearance on the part of law enforcement and things there. People being arrested just for talking about not liking the protests or lockdowns. So we need to do anything we can to get the gospel out. And that means all of us preaching, teaching, living it, being the witness and the testimony where we go. Um, I'll have a little, little bit more information on what we're doing uh, after on October 1st and beyond. Uh, and a little after we're done praying. But folks, we want to pray the church does everything it possibly can, and every believer does everything they possibly can to make a difference in America, in your community, where you live, where you work, <clears throat> where you go to school, where you teach, anything what you're doing. So uh, just be with us, all right? Be with us in, in your prayers. Don't just listen to me pray today, but pray throughout the day about the things we're praying. So let's pray. Lord, I'm asking you to wake the church up not just to his need to repent, but wake the church up to his need to get the gospel out there. Lord, there are people every day that we rub shoulders with, we work with, we see at the school, we see in, around town, our communities. We see where we're shopping, we're eating. God, we see people every day. We are surrounded by people who are lost. Cars that drive by us are driving. We don't know where they're going, but we know if they don't know who you are, we know where they're going. So, Father, give us a greater desire and a passion to reach the lost people that we work with, that we live with, in our families, our friends, our, in our community. Lord, you give us a heart. Give us a heart of compassion for those that are lost, for those who, 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 who live in, in situations like we can never even understand or imagine. But no matter who they are or where they are, Lord, we have been called to reach them. So wake up the church. Rise up, the, raise up the church, Lord, to go forth and, and to witness. Go forth, Lord, and, and to share our testimonies. Lord, help us to share with somebody today what you have done in us, the, the pit that you brought us out of and, and the rock you put our feet upon. Lord, help us to practice and live out Psalm 40 today so people can know that we have met you and you've changed our lives and you've given us purpose and hope and peace. Father, I pray that, that when we're out and about today, whatever we might be doing on our way to work, on our way home from work, give us chances to share with somebody who Jesus is. Give us opportunities to pray with people and, and, and pray that they would be healed, pray that they would be uh, released from their sickness. God, that we would be able to pray that, God, you would give us wisdom for people who are trying to figure things out in life. Give us the answers. Lord, Peter said that we should always have a hope for those that ask the, the question of the, of, of the hope that we have. Help us always be able to, not just to defend that, Lord, but to live that out practically before the watching world. Help us today to reach out to somebody, to pray for somebody, to have, have an impact in somebody's life. Lord, give us the opportunities to share with families how to strengthen their families. Lord, I pray you'll help husbands be better husbands today in, in, in their homes and better leaders and better guys. Lord, I pray that, that mothers would be a greater, greater example to those young ladies in their home. And God, that fathers would be a, a better example to their sons. Lord, the nuclear family is under attack in our communities, in our nation, our state. We know that. We see that. So help us as parents right now. 
who are committed to one another to be the best example of what a family is because there's people out there that have no idea what a good family, a strong family, a supportable, a supported family looks like. So help the church to raise up families within the church body that will be examples to those around. Because in one great sense, that is one of the best things that we can do to be a witness, is have a family that is solid and stable. Well, I know that my family is not perfect. We've got plenty of mistakes and plenty of issues, but God, help us to be an example to those around us that are watching, that are seeing us, in the way we treat each other, in the way we, we deal with adversity, and the way that we walk in our faith. So we'll raise up families, raise up the church, Raise up the body of Christ to make a difference in our communities in America and reach the lost, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. We're going to be praying starting on October 1st through some of the Psalms. Rather than have a list and say we're going to pray about this specific thing today, we're going to pray starting in Psalm 1 and probably pray at least Psalm 1, Psalm 3, a few others. And then we're going to be praying the prayers of Daniel uh, in, the, in the book of Daniel. And, uh, and what, I like do, what I like to do when I pray, I, I'll read the Word and then pray what I'm reading. And so I'll, I want to try to practice that before you so you can kind of see how, not just how I do it, but there's a principle that we can read and, pre and pray the Word. And uh, what, what we're reading, we're praying. So we're, we're actually asking the Lord to, to make those things happen in our lives. So if we're looking at Psalm 1, you know, being a tree planted by the water, Lord, help us to be like a tree planted by the water firmly. Let the roots go deep. Let them be firm, uh, watered. All those things that we need. So uh, let's look at let's look at meeting again tomorrow and making a difference in our communities, making a difference in our nation. Be praying. Um, we're we're entering into some some more difficult times. Things are shifting, um, especially with the uh, the possibility of a new Supreme Court justice. Um, Congress is already already uh, showing itself. Um, in, in many ways, 29 times in American history, there has been a Supreme Court justice appointed during an election year, 29 times. So there's a precedent. Um, and yes, I do want a conservative Supreme Court justice. Yes, I do want a pro-life, pro-gun, pro-constitution Supreme Court justice. That's what I want. That's, you know, I, I that's what America needs. But that's what I want to see. Uh, I'm an American citizen, and my rights matter, my opinions matter, just like yours yours do as well. And so we need to pray for the right person to be there. And I'm also aware that the Word says that the Lord appoints these people, but He does it through leadership and situations and things that are happening. So continue to pray for the nation, especially Chicago. Uh, Louisville is still having uh, their own issues uh, in light of the indictments of the officers uh, with the, the uh, Breonna Taylor case. Um, so there's a lot to pray about, a whole lot to pray about. So let's just trust the Lord to see what he does, what he says, and what he will do in us and through us. So God bless, and we'll see you tomorrow.